Hi, I'm Ariel, and today I'm going to show you how much money YouTube actually paid me in 2020 with 1 million subscribers. Before the Brazilians start asking, yes, this video is going to be in English, hence the Portuguese subtitles, and my last vlog of over 30 minutes was in Portuguese, and I always try to like mix it up, so in this last vlog, I asked you guys if you'd be interested in knowing how much money I actually make on YouTube, this is the first time I'm doing a video like this, and y'all said that I should make it, so here we are. And first of all, I think it's important to say that I've been posting videos on YouTube since like 2009, so it's really been like a long journey and not an overnight success and my viewers changed over time as it does and it really like comes and goes in waves, so yeah. <laughs> in 2020 was the year that I reached 1 million subscribers and I reached it in the second half, I think it was like August September. So in 2020 alone, I generated over 23 million views on my channel and over 333 subscribers. So it was a really big year, a lot of accomplishments for me. And important note, my channel is mainly music. So like music covers, original music, and I occasionally post vlogs. So you gotta take that into account. And I am actually thinking about starting a vlog channel uh, just so it's like better separated. What do you guys think? Should I create one? Let me know, let me know in the comments. And before I proceed to tell you, I wanted to hear your guesses. I wanna hear, like I'll, I'll give you a few moments to comment how much you think I made last year with this amount of views, 23 million views. and all these subscribers. I, I really want to see your guesses because I really want to see your reactions when I tell you how much it is. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give you a second to let me know. By the way, do you like this video yet? So as I was saying, 2020 was a really big year for me. And when you actually put it into perspective, like my lifetime views on YouTube since I started is around 58 million views. And in 2020 alone, I got 23 million. So that's a lot. So like before quarantine, I was working full time in restaurants serving tables. I was working two different restaurants and still like posting videos on YouTube, but I didn't have as much time to focus on it and like create content as much because I was working so much and then lockdown hit and I lost both my jobs in my mind for a little bit <laughs> but then I realized that I could use this as an opportunity to focus on what I really wanted to do and like really put my heart into it and dedicate my time like full time into it. so in the first couple of weeks of quarantine i got together with my boyfriend who is also my producer and we recorded my entire ep that i just released in january and you can find the link to it in the description of this video go check it out and in addition to that i started creating a lot more content as i was locked inside with no job and nothing to do now i'm going to start showing you my analytics and as you can see in this graph right here it really does like come and goes in waves it's never like you start going up then you continue going up forever that might be somewhat real for some people but not real at all for your usual <laughs> youtuber and content creators it just really fluctuates a lot that is totally okay and normal even though it can be really frustrating especially when we're focusing so much time and putting so much work into it when our views go down it directly impacts my income and my ability to pay my bills so that part is very frustrating <laughs> without further ado and i'm guessing this is way lower than you thought it would be this is exactly how much I made in 2020 with YouTube ads alone. And like when comparing myself to other YouTubers, that's like hella toxic. I feel like shit because I watched other videos of other YouTubers showing like how much money they make and how much money I make doesn't even compare. It's way lower. But I'm gonna try to tell you why I think that is and I'm no expert. So there's these two things called CPM and RPM, and I probably won't be pronouncing it right, but CPM is the cost per meal 
or like the cost per thousand. What I understand about it is that it's how much advertisers are willing to pay for a thousand views on the ad. And then RPM is the revenue per thousand views on the ad, how much we actually make. And as you can see here, and I am not completely sure about the specifics, YouTube takes approximately half of our CPM. So if my CPM were like $10, like some finance channels would be, um, I would be making approximately $5 on the thousand views on their ad. So like you can see here that YouTube revenue ads show this amount and I actually make this other amount and like what I understand and correct me if I'm wrong like if you skip an ad or if you use ad blocker we are not getting paid like if you download our video illegally we are not getting paid and that's just not very supportive <laughs> and also the CPM changes depending on a few factors like the audience location different countries equal different CPM and here you can see a table with all of the highest CPMs by country so this was my audience in 2020 and if you don't know this I am from Brazil and I live in the US so I'm always mixing like English and Portuguese also because there's viewers from all these other countries and I wanted to make it like accessible for everyone and also my brain is a mess being from one country having one native language but living in another one um, can be very confusing sometimes to my brain so yeah and as you can see I have a lot of viewers from Brazil Indonesia and India and this is the CPM for my top country so like my usual audience so the amount of money you get from your videos is directly impacted by which country is watching you it really changes with each video and where people are watching each video from and this was my top earning video from 2020 and it was the a cover of moral of the story by ash and it got 1.9 million views and it got me approximately 703 dollars and its audience was mainly from brazil followed by us now cpm in brazil it's around 80 cents of a dollar while the CPM in the US it's almost five dollars so it really like bumps up how much I made because of the higher CPM um, now let's check this other video it was a cover of ride by 21 pilots and it got me over 4.5 million views over two times more than more of the story right the one the my top earning video but i made approximately 701 dollars so why we're speaking millions i had over 2 million views more in this video and i still made less money and that happened because this video went viral in indonesia followed by india and cpm in indonesia is around 70 cents of a dollar and cpm in india is 80 cents of a dollar so if you're also a creator and you're comparing yourself to other youtubers don't do it it's not worth it each person has their own audience and comparing yourselves to others will only bring pain i speak from experience I felt so much pain just studying and like preparing this video and watching these other YouTubers because it's just like how. Now something else that I think it's important to point out is like I said my channel is mainly music. My videos are shorter therefore they display less ads than a vlog. Like videos with over 10 minutes can have multiple ads so it increases your chances of making more income meanwhile um, a short video will only display probably one ad in the beginning of the video and something else is that when you post a cover of a song you get a copyright infringement and you have to share your revenue with the artist slash label like youtube lets you know when the content you post has a copyright infringement but if it's a cover of a song you're still able to monetize but you have to share revenue so let's say the CPM in a country was like 70 cents so my RPM is gonna be around 30 cents 35 cents and then I'm sharing that with the label or the artist you see where this is going <laughs> that makes it super hard for like musician youtubers like myself 
who post like covers to actually survive and pay our bills with YouTube ads money. And as you can tell, I do this because I love it and not to make bank because I ain't making bank as you can see. Which brings me to an important point before I finalize this video that is you may or may not have seen if you're new here but I do some brand sponsorships. I get sponsored by musical instrument brands usually and then I do like a review of the instrument followed by a cover and I really appreciate it when you guys support it instead of complaining that I'm speaking in the beginning of a video. Because like these amazing brands who are supporting me they're making it possible for me to work on this full time and create a lot of content for you guys because again let, let's actually make the math you know last year with t around 23 million views and a million subscribers I made exactly six thousand eight hundred sixty two point thirty three dollars and that divided by 12 months is around five hundred and seventy one dollars a month which is not enough at all to cover my bills, pay rent, get me food, let alone do anything else. So yeah, that, that was it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and let me know again if, you, if you'd be interested in a vlog channel. Sometimes I like doing like daily vlogs or random type of stuff and it just doesn't really fit into my channel here all the time. The stuff that I want to do because here I post like mainly music and I've been releasing my music and focusing so much on that. So that's why I was thinking maybe creating like a random vlog channel to just like hang out and chat with you guys more. So yeah, like go support the brands who support me. I have some links here in the description and also if you don't know my music yet go check it out. I have a new song coming to make sure to pre-save it in the link here in the description. Check out my Spotify, follow me on like Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. I post there way more often. I've been trying out YouTube shorts lately too. I know this is random not related to this video at all but what do you guys think? Are you Have you been using shorts? If you watched the video to here, let me know. And yeah, like this video, subscribe if you're new here, come be a part of the family, and have a great day. Um, you can click here or, or here.